Hey, gotta love the internet, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, sorry about that. Um, I swear I've like had the worst internet problems ever since I moved here to Boise. Like our power goes out all the time and I lose internet. I'm that crazy lady who's like calling the internet company all the time. Like I work from home, fix this. <laughs> like it's crazy. Our power's gone out before for like five hours. And before we moved out here to Boise, we lived in Phoenix, Arizona, and we never had issues. Like, we had pretty sketchy internet, but nothing like, like where it just crops out. <laughs> that sucks. So, anyways, hopefully uh, some of you guys come back. So, thank you for being patient, and sorry about that. Um, so, I, I want to talk to you guys about your why, right? And talk to you a little bit about your superpower as well. Um... I'm hoping that I'll be able to go live again on Thursday, I believe. So hopefully I'll catch some of you then for the training number three. This is part two of two. Um, but yeah, let's talk about superpowers, okay? Everybody's born with superpower. Everyone is good at like one thing. Some people are born great at like a million things. And then, you know, we're just like, ugh. But everyone at least has one great, amazing spectacular thing that you're good at that like no one else is good at and I call that your superpower so for example um let's see my well okay let's we'll start with my husband my husband's superpower is literally he could spark up a conversation with anybody about anything and carry on that conversation like so easily me on the other hand I feel like my superpower is Connecting people, uh, building relationships. I love connecting people. I'm all about like, oh, you need awesome makeup? Well, my friend sells makeup, so go talk to her, you know? And like, I love connecting people and like finding people jobs and getting people jobs and connecting businesses with VAs and, and people. Like, I love that. Um, that's actually a reason I started my virtual assistant business um, to help the real estate agents that I coach, um, giving them leverage so that they can grow faster. And then also I'm employing people over in the Philippines, which is really cool. So, um, so I want you to think about that. Okay. Think about like, what is my superpower? What am I really good at? And then I want you to like 10 X that and like focus on what you're super amazing at and, and use that to your advantage. Okay. So superpower. I see a couple people are watching, but I'm not sure who it is. So if you're watching this live, put hashtag live so I can see your little name pop up there. And I'll give you a shout out. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, you guys are going to watch a replay of that later. And I'm going to be like, oh, just like dying inside for being so corny. Okay. So, um, so we talked a little bit about superpower, like the one thing that you're good at that not everyone is good at, right? And then um, as we go through all of these trainings and as you start to really focus on how you're talking to people and focus on how you're influencing people to purchase your products, there's going to be like this little inner voice all the time that's there like, oh, you don't know what you're doing or, oh, you're not the expert or, oh, they're doing it better or, oh, you look awful or, oh, you're too tired today. Don't go live. Don't listen to that voice. That voice is common and everybody has one of those. Trust me, I've been there too. I have been like, I've hid like inside myself. Like, no, I don't want to go live, you know, but you got to go live. You have to put yourself out there and you have to like um, omit confidence. Just be confident. Even if you don't know everything about something, like just fake it till you make it, you know, just be confident about it. If you don't know the answer to something like, like, oh, cool. All right, let me go figure that out. And I'll be right back. You know, just like, it's not a big deal if you don't know everything. People don't really expect you to know everything. And if you don't know everything, that's all right. People actually kind of like that sometimes because then they're like, oh, you're like a human being like me. And that's awesome. And I can relate to that, you know. Um, or, yeah, I actually, that's not really my specialty. I don't know a lot about that specific part of my product. But um, I will find out for you and get back to you right away. So, um, basically, as you're building a business and an income for yourself and trying to like master this MLM world so you can rise up and be a diamond or whatever they call them, you know, the top ranks or champion, whatever they are. Um, you just want to share your passion with the world and you want to educate. Yes. Be relatable. It's super important. Transparency. So important. Okay. Be transparent, be relatable, share 
the you know the behind the scenes of your life and get people to get to know you because here's the number one golden tip of the night you guys like before people will buy your products you, you have to sell them on yourself first right and you are the attractive character your clients are the heroes they're the heroes in this business and you want them to feel like they can win with your product and they're gonna lose weight with your product and they're gonna have free time with your product or they're gonna have amazing look I'm wearing lip sense right now and I'm wearing Rodan and Fields the mineral peptides and I'm wearing um, vitamin C stuff on my face I don't know but you know, you want your clients to feel like the heroes that they can do this, they can win, they are on a journey and you're gonna help support them through this journey of them using your products. But you are the expert selling the product. You are the person that's gonna help them, that's to support them and educate them. You're the attractive character. You're the person that's gonna be influencing a mass population of people to want your product, to want to do what you do, right? All of you guys have a dream, right? And I'm guessing I know what most of them are. You want to have financial freedom. You want to be able to stay home. You probably have kids and you want to stay home. You want more time with your kids. You don't want to go to a job and clock in and then be stuck there until six and then you're rushing home, picking up your kids from daycare or wherever. And then you got to come home, like rush through dinner and bedtime and prayers and all of that stuff. And then you only spend like an hour with your kids and then, oh, you forgot there's homework and then your house is a mess and then you still got to do those dishes and then laundry, laundry has to be done because your kids wear uniforms. Like you don't, want that right you want better you want to be able to like put your kids in private school probably or a better school maybe or homeschool you maybe want to homeschool but you can't right now and that's why you started this business right that's why you got into this MLM business was because you want freedom you want to be free from your nine to five so that you can have more time with your kids more energy to do the things that you love that's why you're doing this right but that's your why, all of those things of why you even want to work from home, that's not going to sell your customers. So we need to talk about why you care about your customers, okay? This is huge, and this is going to change everything. So I'm going to give you guys some homework, um, and <laughs> you might all hate me by the end of this video, but... If you're serious about growth and scaling your MLM and you want to be different and you want to actually like earn an amazing lifestyle and not have to go to work anymore and quit your job and tell your boss to suck it and you want to just stay at home and you know and educate on your products and build a team and rise to the top of your MLM that's awesome you totally should do that and I am cheering you on okay so we need to talk about like your why why do you care about this company first of all okay you need to you need to really dig deep inside of yourself like okay why do I care about this specific company why this company if you're someone who's selling like for five different MLMs first of all I would check on compliance because I know that for some companies that's not allowed so be very very careful about what you're sharing on your wall um, lots of MLM companies don't allow that type of sort of thing um, Secondly, just ask yourself, like, why do I care about this company specifically? What do they do for me? Okay, how, like, what, what do I love about their culture? Do I feel like I'm a part of it? Um, do I feel like I'm helping people just by being, calling myself a promoter with company XYZ? Um, but then the biggest part of this challenge comes when you figure out, like, like why do I care about my client? Okay, so when you niche down and you focus on your ideal client, like why do you care about them so much, right? So, okay, lip sense. You're selling amazing lip gloss. Say you were someone that used to wear lipstick all the time and then it smudged and it got all over your kid's face when you kissed them and it came off when you ate and you love having lip color, you love being fancy and then lip sense came out and it stayed on all day and you're like, holy cow, I have to tell the world about this. I love this stuff. It's like the best ever. And and now you're like, oh crap. Okay, so my audience is women. I'm a mom or I'm, I'm a traveler. I don't have kids, right? So you're like, well, moms, that's not really my target audience because they're not going to relate to me. I can't really relate to them. But 
I can relate to boss moms, entrepreneurs who are that they're living that busy life or maybe they're stay at home moms or husbands work all the time. And you know, they're like, they shop at Nordstrom and you know, they buy this high end makeup and they would love something that just stayed on all day that they didn't have to worry about like falling off their face and you know, getting all, all over their kids. So you're like, okay, now that I'm my ideal client, why do I care about them? So once you pick, pick your niche and then you focus on your ideal client, now you need to ask, why do I care about my ideal client? Okay. Why do you care? Um, so let's get, let's have an example right now. Okay. You're probably asking, well, why do you care? Okay. Great question. Okay. So, um, I'm a little wound up right now. So excuse me if I say K like a hundred million times, <laughs> I drink ketones like a little bit ago and now it's finally, I'm getting a little bit energetic from it. So, um, my why. Okay. I'm in this group. I'm trying to coach you all. I'm trying to train you all because I get it. I can totally relate to you. All of you, you all want what I wanted seven and a half years ago. Um, and, and I keep striving to be able to maintain my dream, right? To stay at home with my kids and I homeschool one of them. And you know, one of them's in private school a few days a week. And then, um, one of them's a baby still. So he just, I guess he homeschools and plays all day. Um, but I wanted what you wanted and I've tried so many MLM companies. It's not even funny. Um, I probably stop most of the materials from all these MLM companies that I've tried. Uh, and you know, it's, my why the reason I'm here is because I want to help you like in all honesty I want to help you guys succeed um, I've learned a lot on my journey being an entrepreneur and learning about marketing and helping clients that I feel like I you know there's a lot of people that know a lot more than I do and they charge a lot of money just to tell you guys what I'm telling you but I was where you are at one point, you know, like I, I was broke. <laughs> I, one day I'll tell my story, but we were, we were broke. Like we had like no money. Like, you know, like when you go to the store and you're like texting your husband, like, do we have $23 in the bank right now? You know, like that kind of broke. We were really broke. Um, and I had no one to help me or coach me or guide me. And I'm an only child. So, and my mom, like she was a single mom. So I didn't really even have like that guidance or someone I could look up to that mentored me throughout my life. So it was just like me. Um, so I basically have taught myself how to work from home, how to make money, how to hustle, how to do side hustles, how to just stay afloat. And now I have just landed myself into a couple opportunities that have really been helpful this last couple of years. So, um, you know, if I can share any of that with you, if I can help just a few of you even, you know, get more clients and help you with whatever you're struggling with, like then I win. <laughs> I will feel good about that. Um, and I, that's really it. That's my why. Cause I've been where you are, even if you're not struggling and you just, you sit at home and you're bored and you just want to work a little bit and you're just trying to do this as a side hustle. I get that too. I still love MLMs. I love MLM companies and, and like what they're doing and what they're providing for people. Um, I love all the products. I love trying new products too. And so, you know, I get that side of it too. Like I understand, but at the end of the day, in order to like keep earning free product or getting your product for free because you love them so much, you still need to understand a little bit about how to market them properly so you're not just spamming people. So that's my why is I really just want to help you and be an advocate for your success. So that's it. That's why I'm here. So now I, I really want you guys as you're watching this video, I know over the next couple of days, um, you guys will be watching this and I would like for you to comment in the comments in this video. I will check them and I will respond back to you. I want you to write out your why you don't have to get like super personal, but I want you to dig like really deep, go back to like when you were a child, that's typically where things stem from. Um, go back to when you were a child or, you know, maybe when you had your first child or maybe when you were in high school and think about like, as you choose your, your niche and your target audience, like the people you want to speak to, 
and only them. So choose one. When you pick your target audience, I want you to ask yourself like, okay, why do I care so much to help this specific audience, this clientele, this demographic, this person? Why do I care so much to help them? You know, um, my mother-in-law and oh, I forgot. <laughs> I'll just say that. Um, but yeah, so we were trying to uncover her why and we discovered that she she really cared about helping other women with the dream of being able to stay at home, like to be in the spotlight, to have like your own thing going for you, you know? So like moms that stay home all the time, usually like their husband, like they live kind of in the shadows of their husbands, right? And that's pretty typical for stay at home moms. Um, their husbands go to work, they get all the accolades, all the awards, and they go on the fancy dinners and they go on the trips and, and then you're like, Oh, my husband went to, you know, Jamaica, and my husband went and did this and he won this prestigious award and we're over at the ceremony and like, and you brag about him and that's really awesome. But some women like end up being like, oh, I just wish I had something that I could work for and do something for myself or my family and support us and like feel more fulfilled. Like being a mother is great. It's, it's a lot of work. It's amazing though. But at the end of the day, like, oh my gosh, you could clean your house like 20 times. And at the end of the day, it like doesn't, it doesn't look like you cleaned 20 times. It looks probably worse than when you woke up. And so you don't feel fulfilled. You're like, okay, so I just literally worked my ass off all day long and tried to keep up with the house and cooked like a million, you know, entrees and then handed out snacks all day and did this and did school, but it doesn't look like it. And so you don't feel that fulfillment versus um, like if you were to do something and like help people. So the goal of this having an MLM or having a product that you're selling is like, who can I help today? Who can I educate? Who can I share information with? Don't even, don't even think about a sell. Don't even like talk yourself out of talking to someone because you're focused on the sell. Don't focus on the sell. Focus on how you can help someone and really that's it. Like you can reach out to people and be like, Hey, how's it going? But I have, I have someone who sells Kanjin water. Okay. I don't know if you've heard of that. It's like pure water without the toxins and stuff that like tap water has and chemicals. Um, he messages me pretty much every single day and says, Hey, how's it going? And that's it. And I'll say, Hey, and then, and then like he leads from that into saying, Hey, do you know anyone who wants some Kanjin water? But that's how he gets it every time. And like I know every single time he messages me, I know he's going to ask me about who I know that wants Kanjin water or if I have a friend or if we're, <coughs> if we are ready for it. <coughs> Excuse me. So, you know, there's little ways that you can just message your friends, like follow your friend's timeline, say happy birthday to them, comment on their stuff, like their posts. Um, the more you like and comment on other people, the more they'll see you in their newsfeed. Um, and what I want to challenge you guys with is <laughs> write your whys in the comment below. I would love for you guys to, one, add me as a friend. And two, I want you to... I want you to go to your Facebook wall and I want you to write your why in accordance to your products. So I help moms find the time to get their pre bought baby body back um, and help them with a health and fitness plan so that they can feel good about themselves because and then talk about your why. So your I am statement into your why. You want people to look at why you're in this for them. Why do you care about your client? And people will read these. They're going to read your why and read why you're passionate. But like be so authentic and so transparent in your why. Like if your why makes you cry, you're on the right track. <laughs> okay. So don't forget that. Um, just be authentic, be yourself and really focus on like, why do you care to help single moms? Why do you care to help um, people who are, are your Nerium customers or why, why are you in Beachbody? Why do you care about those moms who don't have time to work out? Like 
was that you? Did you feel like that at one point? Do, are, do you not have a lot of time and this has saved you and given you energy? Um, do you love the shakes because they're vegan and you know there's a lot of vegan hippie moms out there and you're a vegan hippie mom and you want to connect with other vegan hippie moms and say, hey, I have a product just for you. Like it's perfect and I take it and we're the same and you're going to love it. Like, you know, just um, really try and zero in on your why and I would love for you I would love for you to add me as a friend on Facebook that'd be awesome um, I, I would love to be friends with all of you so I can kind of see what you're doing and then um, go to your Facebook wall whenever you're ready whenever you're comfortable but I'll know I'll know who the true players are when I see it on your wall but right I am an advocate for da, 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 or I am on a mission to help busy moms blah 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 and then your why because a long time ago when I was younger or when I was a little kid I grew up not having fresh sustainable healthy pure toxin free water and that was a big deal to me and so I want to give you know the opportunity for other kids or adults or whatever to have fresh pure clean water as an example so Talk about your why. Like, even talk about your story. It's really cool when I see people on Facebook get so raw and authentic and tell their story. So you should do that too. And it just helps your audience to get it. So that's really it, you guys. It's like niche, ideal client, why. Those things, you strap those into your arsenal and you're ready to go. Um, the other thing, so Molly, Molly added me as a friend the other day, so she'll hop in here later when she can. I know it's kind of late, you guys, it's a school night, but uh, Molly posted a post on her Facebook page, and it said, um, I asked this the other day, but who here on my Facebook wall drinks coffee? That's what she said, okay, and um so I messaged her because it only had a couple likes. She had just posted it pretty recently. But I was like, instead of asking directly, like, who drinks coffee? Because it sounds totally like a trap. Like, someone's going to be like, I'm not going to answer that. You're going to pitch me on something, you know? Like, who drinks coffee? Anybody drink coffee, you know? And someone's going to be like, oh, nope, I'm, I'm not going to respond to that. But instead, ask questions that are fun and engaging, like, um, um, what did I, so I, I messaged her and I was like, Hey, you should change this. Say, how do you like your coffee? How do you like to drink your coffee? So she changed it and added the coffee cup emoji. And I haven't looked now, but the next day I looked and she had like 60 comments or whatever. If you post anything and read the comment below the video, um, I was talking about how oversharing is actually negative for you. If you're messaging someone about your product, say Hey, how are you doing first? And then when they respond, say a little bit more. Say, so I know that you were interested in learning more about um, ketones or coffee or whatever your product is. Say, what are your goals with said product? You know, you want to figure out like, why do they want it? Why did they reach out? Why did they message you? Why did they show any interest at all? You want to know that. Don't just like, go and just word vomit all over their, them and their messenger and say, hey, how's it going? I saw that you messaged me on a coffee and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I just started this new company. It's so amazing. And you guys, it's like the most epic thing ever. You should totally order. Here's my link, blah, 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 blah. And then they're going to be like, whoa, I'm, I'm deleting that. <laughs> and they're not going to respond to you. So take it in conversations. Like, like as if you're talking to them face to face. You would never go up to a friend and be like, oh my gosh, guess why I just started selling? You know, you would never do that. You would say, hey, how's it going? How's life? How are the kids? Oh, your dog is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love seeing all your photos on Facebook. They're so amazing. Um, so hey, like, are you still working for that one company? That's awesome. Guess what? I just started like repping this crazy amazing product I've been using for like six months and I was like oh I should probably just like sell it because it's so amazing and it's changed my life and yeah and then they'd be like oh what are you doing and be like yeah so I'm selling coffee but it's a very special kind of coffee it's organic there's no toxins I love it I'm losing weight I'm so much more energetic girl you should try it like do you want a sample 
you know, if you do samples on them or, you know, pay, charge them for a sample or whatever you do. Um, but like lead into a conversation, even in your messenger, it's so much more important nowadays. Cause like you can't take the humanity out of marketing. It's not working. People are getting pissed off and annoyed and like, Ugh, people always add me as a friend and then they just like word vomit all over my messenger. They say, Hey, and then they say, Hey, thanks so much for adding me. I'd love to invite you to my private group, blah, blah, blah. And it's like a coach. And of course they want you in their private group because they want to pitch you on their products. They want to build trust. So you end up buying their products, marketing secret number one. Um, but yeah, it's, it's crazy out there in the marketing world, so be careful. Um, but yeah, just be authentic, be, have conversations with people, and ask them why, why, why are you interested? Like, what are your goals, you know? And some people won't always tell you, but when it comes to weight loss, people have goals. Like, oh, awesome, like, do you have weight loss goals? Are you trying to, like, reduce brain fog? Or are you prepping for a wedding? Like, if, if you've been following them, I'm sure you probably saw if they're – engaged, you know, you know, maybe they're like, Oh my gosh, I'm trying to lose 15 pounds. Cause I'm trying to do a marathon next month, or I'm trying to lose 10 pounds. My wedding's almost here. And then you're like, awesome. I'd love to support you on that journey. You know, and every, every person, every customer I have that I support on a journey, I say those words, like I would love to support you on your journey and give you advice, tips, tricks, like whatever you need. And I'll be there for you. Like I'm here cheering you on. Just like I say to you guys, I'm here cheering you on. And I totally am. So feel free to message me, comment below. Um, but yeah, it, so it's super awesome. But so in the beginning, um, in part one, we talked about, you know, really defining your market, getting out of the red ocean and creating a blue ocean down here. So going from core market to sub market to your niche and then really focusing on your ideal clientele. So the people you attract. And then we talked about um, finding your why and then posting about your why on your page and creating more curiosity posts. Okay, so that was in part one and part two of this training. My training or my internet totally like sacked out on me on the first training video. So we got two tonight. So let me know if you guys have any questions, put them in the comments below. Um, I'm super excited for you to watch these videos. I think they're super informative and I know that, you know, if I were in your shoes, I would totally watch them, take notes, add people, add your downlines, like whatever you need to do so that you can rise to the top. I'm here for you. If you guys want me to talk about something specific, send me a message and I will do a live training on it or go in the comments. I'm, I'm trying to stay like in a specific order though. And it's actually the order in expert secrets. So when you get the book, you'll kind of be able to follow along a little bit, but I'm really excited for you guys that purchased that because it has been a game changer for me. Um, yeah, it's super awesome. So if you haven't purchased it, I did put, I, I'm an affiliate of expert secrets or of, click funnels and all of that because that's what I use for all of my funnels which I'll show you guys later but um, it would be super helpful if you used my link just because it does help me it gives me the time um, you know away from my family so that I can give you these free trainings um, I don't I just make a really tiny tiny commission it's like a eight dollar book but it's basically shipping so uh, let me know if you have any questions I'm super excited for all of you on your journey and yeah so go add me as a friend and then think about your why, write it down, write down your why. And then also another tidbit, write down three goals that you have with this company. When you write your goals, you're more likely to obtain them. So write down like until December, what are your goals? What do you, what do you plan on doing until, um, or by December, um, create actionable goals. But my action, my actionable homework for you right now is to go write your why write three goals, share them in the group. Like we are all here supporting each other. Okay. This is not like a sales group. We're not link dropping. We are here to support each other. So do your homework, write your why, write your three goals, put them somewhere, anywhere, anywhere on the, in this group. And we will support you and we're going to cheer you on. We're going to cheer all of everyone on. 
because this is awesome. You guys took a leap of faith on yourselves to start a business. And I'm sure you had to like talk your husbands into it. Like I can do this. I know I can do this and you can do this. You, I know you can do this. So just hang in there and don't discourage yourself because that's all too common. Um, I've done it a million times to myself. So just hang in there and we will get through this and we'll cheer you on. Okay. Awesome. Well, I'm going to go, um, spend some time with my husband now. So I will talk to you later. Bye.